Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today I had to run to the post office to drop off my packages instead of just putting them in my giant mailbox. Always a blessing when you have to do that, which means there was a lot of things to go out. So of course I chose the post office that is in the same shopping center as a Goodwill because if I had to leave my house, might as well pop in and see if there's anything I can buy to make a profit. Now, if you've been following along with my channel or many others, Goodwill pricing is a little crazy, but if you look hard and long enough, there are still some deals to be had. So let's go see if we can find anything. This is not a location that I frequent. In fact, it's probably been, I don't know, six months or so since I've popped in here. So we shall see. Starting first thing in the door at swimsuits. I did find this Zaya Active bra mixed in with the swimsuits. They wanted $7. I did put it in my cart to check comps later. Sometimes particular styles in that brand are worth it. That bra was not, so it did go back. Always look through the swimsuits though. To me, you can feel quality just like you can with leggings. They did want 12 to $15 for one pieces. I did not find much, but I did find one brand I wanted to make sure I mentioned. The brand is called Seraphine. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I will show you the tag. It is a maternity swimsuit brand. Here it is. Pick this up or look it up. I would have paid the $13 if it had not been in such terrible condition. Comps are around $50. So that brand does comp really well. Old Navy for $9. That's a negative. Next, I headed to shoes. They had so many shoes because they are so overpriced that they had these blue bins just like all over the floor, all around the shoe area. I never found the match to the Sorel boot, which was really sad. I did find a few pairs of natives. I threw them all in my cart so I could check them out later. I ended up putting two of them back just because of condition. Even the magic eraser cannot save them sometimes. But man, all these shoes are gonna end up at the bin, so I'm not super sad. These Tory Burch would have been a, an okay pickup, even with that toe wear, not for $25. Lucky Brand, if you can find the Lucky Brand loafers or flats, the 100% leather for cheap, pick them up. Those always do sell in my experience. Did not pick them up today, but man, shoes are my favorite category, but it's hard to find them right now for a good deal at Goodwill. These Salomon kid shoes, they wanted 20 bucks. For personal use, that's great. They do resell well, but that was just too much to pay for these. I gave up on shoes and headed to clothing. That is an old Hannah Anderson tag. And this dress I ended up leaving behind, but do always check them out. I always pick up these Squishmallows to at least look up because you never know if it's gonna be a rare one. Neither of these were, they think they wanted $5 each. They were both selling for like 10 bucks. They went back. Bras, it used to be a lovely situation where you can get any bra for $2.99. Not so much anymore. Here's a Spanx bra. They did have it marked up to $12.99. I left it hanging there. Spoiler, I did go back and grab it after checking comps. I'll show it at the end. They had a lot of cacique bras, but those really aren't selling for me like they used to. So you never know, always check. This would have been a good pickup. This is an anthropology brand, a postcard, I believe. It was missing the under slip though, which is kind of important. I spent way too long deciding over this Maggie London vintage dress. I did leave it behind, but check out how cool this style is. The belly part was open. It was just really neat, but comps were not there to justify $10. Same for this. This is an anthropology brand as well. And if it had been in good condition, I might've picked it up, but as you can see, there's kind of fraying all around the embroidery. I headed to sweaters and jackets next. Oh, Ministry of Supply, great brand. Unfortunately, this one was just too pilled. I don't think my sweater shaver could have saved that enough to justify spending $9. But if you find this brand, it's a good one. I thought maybe I would find something in the sweaters and jackets being that it's 100 degrees right now in Florida, but I didn't. Nine bucks for Forever 21. Oof. But as I said, you've just got to dig to find. Cool KUHL, typically a really great pickup. However, I did check comps on this skirt and comps weren't there. All right, so I ended up spending 
just over two and a half hours. I did not plan to stay that long, typical, right? But we had like a Florida, what, if you aren't local, you might be like, oh my gosh, there's a hurricane outside. But alas, it is over and done. But it was so hard raining outside. I was like, you know what? Nope, we're gonna make sure we touch every rack in this store. So uh, you will have seen some footage. I did put some things back. So I did find some decent things. Uh, I needed to order some new bathing suits for my middle, so I was glad to find some of those here. I will show you at the end. I already scooped up a Christmas present, so I think today was a success. So stay tuned. I will show you a haul as soon as I get home. All right, same day. I'm going to go ahead and get this haul done so I can throw some of these things in the washer, get these shoes cleaned up, and hopefully be able to, by the time you see this video, pop up, not comps, but my exact listings of the items. Also apologize, it's a little bit dark. My second ring light died and it's like raining and just a gross, not sunshiny Florida day today. I did pick up a few things for personal use. This adorable Matilda Jane bathing suit. Now I will probably let my daughter wear this a time or two because it's her size. I did look up comps in store and this one is selling for about $25. You guys probably all know the Matilda Jane. And if you just snap a quick Google lens of any Matilda Jane piece, it's going to pop up and somebody will have it listed where you'll be able to then look up the stock photos if you choose, or you can go to MJ Lookbooks on Google. And if you, as long as you know the year on all of their tags, it has a year that they were made. And if you just type in Matilda Jane, whatever the year is, you'll be able to find that page in the book. All right, this is such a cool little find. I did struggle to find comps because it's just kind of a random brand, but check out this vintage kids Hawaiian shirt. Like, look at this print. This is so awesome. So it is by the brand Aloha Republic made in Hawaii, USA. It's a paper tag, kids size eight. Now I did pay $7 for this. Here's why we are going to Hawaii uh, in, around the spring break this coming year. Uh, it's always been a place that I've wanted to go, but just so happens that Michael's cousin is getting married. We are going to Hawaii, all five of us. So I thought this would be really cute if we unbuttoned the bottom couple and tied it in a knot for Delaney to wear in Hawaii. But in the meantime, I will probably list it high and if it sells, it sells. And otherwise, that's why I was okay paying a little more for it because I just she's my very stylish kid and I could just see her rocking that. All right, in the athletic wear, I went through every pair of leggings, found two. You just know quality when you feel it. And this is why I do enjoy going to the regular thrift stores. You guys know I prefer the bins, but that just isn't where I went today. I did put several things back that I didn't get on film. And I said to myself, could I find this at the bins? And if the answer was yes, it did not come home with me. Like a couple pairs of uh, cycling the shorts that have the padding in it. I find those at the bins all the time, so I, would, I didn't need to pay $5. So anyway, these felt like some quality leggings. I had never heard of the brand before, year of hours, but it's made in the USA. And it just, you know, I'm like, well, it's, kind of, it's low waisted, I don't know. Guys, I looked this up and holy moly, some of the pieces from this brand were like over $50. And I did a Google lens of these leggings and actually found a stock photo. And this is a good company. Maybe you already knew that, but uh, it was $6.99 and this was the color of the week. So I paid $3.50 for them. And I'm like, well, that's cool. I could probably sell these for like 40 bucks. Well, then I went to the sports bra section and happened to find its match. So also a size medium. Unfortunately, not the color of the week. So I paid $6.99 for a sports bra. And um, thankfully, I think I looked, it does not have padding, but it doesn't appear that it has a spot to have the padding. So anyway, I get to list this now as an outfit. And at the time that I'm filming this, I don't know how much that will be. If I had to guess, like, man, it would be really great if I could make like 50, 60 bucks for this. Maybe it's not gonna be that much, maybe more, but it was worth it to me to pay up. This is the other pair, and I think that I took some footage of a Zaya, Zia, I think it's Zaya, Zia, the, this brand, y'all know. The From Home Business. Um, I know at this point, some of the pieces are not selling like what they were maybe a year ago, but I do have enough sense from watching other resellers to always look it up. 
because there are certain colors or pieces that are hard to find or that people really love and are seeking out. So that sports bra, definitely not one of those pieces. It got left behind, but these leggings, my mom, I showed her some of these things and she was like, why did you buy chopped up leggings? So these are called the slash leggings and these are selling for like 40 to 50 bucks. And the, yes, these are a size zero, but there were some selling also in this size. So I figured at $4 and 49 cents, even if they sold for 20 bucks, it's still a good deal. I did pick myself up something. I love this brand beach lunch lounge. It's not super cheap retail, but it just does not hold resale value at all. This is new without tags. It was the color of the week and it does not even feel like it's ever been washed. I just loved the heart print and I thought this would be so cute for Valentine's day or date night. So I did treat myself when I decided to stick around and it was pouring and you know, every now and then I guess I can keep something for myself. This is a beach cover up, also color of the week. I was surprised. Usually when I go to Goodwills, I feel like the workers are like feverishly pulling out all of the colors of the week. But this was $7.49 and half off. The brand is LeBlanca and this is just a cover up, but comps for 25, 30 bucks or so. I don't know if this was a large, I would keep it, but I like my cover ups to fit very loosely. Now, part of the reason I went into this Goodwill, well, I, it was next to the post office, but my middle daughter all like literally overnight grew like three inches and outgrew all of her bathing suits and I needed a bathing suit or two. I know that today, this is the thing with, with um, reselling right now. I know a lot of sales are slow, but these big box stores are offering insane sales. Like right now, Children's Place, which I don't particularly care for the quality of their clothes, the graphics of their clothes, it fades really easily. It's not the best. They have all their girls swimsuits on sale today. They were anywhere between seven and $12 and free shipping. We just cannot compete with that as resellers for new tagged items, let alone, you know, used pieces. So anyway, I was willing to pay $8 because that's what I would have paid if I bought her a few online. This is the brand Jules, which unfortunately is one of those brands. Again, it's J O U L E S. It's really expensive retail, but the resale is just not there. I left behind a really pretty, floral rain jacket that I found today for women. Same thing, it was 10 bucks, but resale was just awful. And I know that jacket probably cost 80, but its logo is this cute little bunny. For kids clothes, I feel like the resale for this brand is better than women's. So anyway, this was in perfect condition. The reason I picked this up, it's a size 9, 10. We are in that struggle bus of size seven, eight is too small and 10, 12 is way too big. So we need that solid size like nine. So this is a nine ten. So I'm hoping this fits her well. We especially are struggling with one pieces. And I like for my kids to wear something covering their shoulders. We're here in Florida. The UV is no joke. We go out on the boat, we go to the beach. And this, you guys, how cute is this bathing suit? This is Jamie and Jack. Again, super expensive kids brand. Resale is okay. Nothing near what it costs. Retail. This is just from spring of 22. So just from last year, it was $5.99. So, and it's in like new condition, the cutest little bubble. She's gonna look so good on this. My middle child, I have a hard time claiming her. Um, you guys all know she's Michael's twin and her skin turns olive. And so it's gonna look great with this. Me and my pasty white, I only burn. I gave that to my other two kids. I showed you guys, I did end up picking up this bra. I did pay $12.99. Comps look like I should be able to get at least 30, 35 out of this bra. Uh, I mean, it seems so comfortable. It's a front class. So, you know, sometimes it's worth the pay up, even if you just double your money to have some of the better brands. I feel like it helps bring traffic to your shop. This was a no brainer for me. It was $1.99. The brand is Woomby. Woombies. Uh, I've always been picking, now I do find these at the bins, but for two bucks, this is like an infant swaddle and they're not cheap and i tell you when a parent finds the brand that works for them they go online and they find them and they buy them i never ever sit on any of these all right these i paid too much for but you know i love them they are pottery barn kids a red and white gingham pillowcase i did get two of them the thing with this is that 
these, they stop making them, right? They have them out for a season and then maybe you have the bedding and something happens, you lose a pillow, you stain one up. They're hard to find to match. So I did pay $5 each for these, but comps on eBay looked like they were selling between 20 and $25 a piece. So I'm hopeful since I spent 10, I would love to make 30. Uh, so we will see, this might've been kind of a gamble, but you know, I thought they were fun. I love finding brand new items and maybe I am just going to break even, but I will help somebody out there complete their set. All right, now we're gonna finish up with shoes. Oh, shoes. You know, it's so crazy the way they price some of their shoes. Like Walmart shoes are 15 bucks and then you find excellent like new condition keen utility shoes for 15 bucks. So these literally look like brand new other than they've got a couple scuffs on the leather, probably from, they, these were thrown into a bin. So these are a men's size 10. I have sold these in brand new condition for like 90 to $100. So I'm hoping that these right here are gonna help cover most of this haul. These are a pair of, I've told, talked to you guys before, any of the vans. Now this is some stuff, I've gotta throw these in the washer and I'm hoping that that comes off because this shoe has some staining on it. But other than that, these are in like new condition. This one in fact still has the sticker, like the van sticker in there. And I did pay $8 for these, but when I looked up comps, this style was selling for like 40 to 80, depending on the size. These are a men's size four, women's five and a half. Obviously a youth would probably be wearing these. So I am going to throw these in the washer and hope for the best, but regardless, I will be able to make money on those. These, how cute. Look at these baby vans. Oh my gosh, they're sparkly ice cream. They are a toddler size four. Now, they are dirty. They're going to get a bath in the OxyClean, but they were priced at $1.99 and they were half off. So I paid a dollar. I know with an overnight soak in Oxy, these are gonna come out looking great. And I just, I couldn't leave them behind. They're adorable. These I did get for Molly. Now all of us, have a pair of these. Look at these Hey Dudes. They are so sparkly and they are in brand new condition. Literally, they have some dirt. Look like they were worn one time. I paid $6. I just bought her a pair for her birthday, but I, these are kid size 12. Obviously these I learned run big in kid sizes. I bought her a 13. They will fit her like at some point this fall, I'm sure for school, cause she has sized up to 13 in Converse, but the 13 Hey Dudes were huge. So I'm hoping we'll get a little bit of use this summer or maybe when school first starts out of these and then I know I'll be able to sell them, but these were a really great find because the pair I bought at Sports Academy, I paid $30 on clearance. So six bucks, that was a good find. These I paid too much for, but they are natives. I showed you a couple of pairs that I passed on. These are in great condition. They need a magic eraser wipe down, but you can always tell from the tread down here. These are great. This, like a pair my kid has right now, you can't even read that because she wears them all the time. So I did pay $6 for these, but these are a fast flip. These are gonna sell all day for 20 to 25 plus shipping. So once I, I'll just clean them up a little bit. And I knew that this was a very quick double your money and a little bit extra situation. And I'm okay with that because I love listing shoes. Picture of the top, I do, I put them like this, Put them like this, this, this. I mean, that's it. These, they had several pairs of Chacos. Most were in terrible condition and they wanted $15 for them. These, for whatever reason, were only priced at 10. They were in great shape. They just need, I'm gonna throw them in the washer and they were the color of the week. So I did pay five bucks for a pair of Chacos. They're a women's size nine. These, another thing I probably should have left behind, but you know me, if you know me, I could not. These are mini Melissa, mini blah, 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 blah. Mini Melissa's and they're adorable. They are in great condition. Again, Magic Eraser will make them look good as new, but you can tell that this isn't worn down. And they have little pink heart lollipops. They are a toddler size 10 and I will be able to make them look good as new. Also, all the kids shoes were like $5.99. So I did pay $6 for them. I will definitely be able to list them for 2025. Same with these. I did not notice at the store that these are missing their insoles. They are play, P-L-A-E. These are the Emmy, E-M-M-E, -M -M -E, Shimmer. And we have owned, these are a size youth two and a half. 
We have owned this shoe, this exact shoe, all the way back to size like nine, 10 toddler. When we went to a school that had uniforms, they had to wear black shoes. These were the best. These shoes are indestructible. I have passed these down between my girls and one of my kids are so hard on their shoes. So anyway, they are often sold out of particular sizes. This is a style that they continue to make year after year, but there was a couple years I had to go to the secondhand market and I still was paying 20 to $30 because I think they're like 60, maybe even more new. So you can buy replacement tabs. These are fine. And honestly, you could wear these without the insole. There's nothing in there. They look like they were maybe worn without an insole. I see some toe prints. Uh, so I'm going to sell them as is and I still will probably be able to get around $20. I did pay seven for them uh, because if they had their insoles, I would have listed them for like 30, 35, but some mama out there is gonna be very happy to find these. And the last pair, these are Merrells. I did look them up, can't remember the name. They're a women's size 10, but they are in pretty great condition. I just need to give the bottoms a quick little wipe down. I did pay $10 for these, comps were like around 30, so I am happy to, to turn 10 into 30. So yeah, I left several pairs of shoes behind after checking comps, but this is what I ended up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed the thrifting with me today. I hope you're having a great summer. I hope your sales are picking up. I know mine are because I'm listing more. Funny how that works, right? All right, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Over half of the people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed. So it would really help me out if you would uh, click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye.